What's going on everybody? My name is Ryan and welcome back to Doki Doki World of Dreams Act 1. This is episode 28 and I'll promise you that this one will have a better title than last episode. I mean, baking cupcakes? Come on, Ryan. No one's going to click on that. Obviously, I could change the title, but I can't think of a better title, but come on. Anyway, in the last episode, we baked cupcakes uh, Natsuki asked me and Monica if we were secretly dating, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, and we left off, we are about to get to the mall to go get some dinner. Now, in the thumbnail of the last one, I showed a thing, a picture saying that Act 2 is just around the corner, and I mentioned, but I cut it out of the last episode, that uh, Morby said that there are seven acts in store, which is unbelievable. I'm so excited, and I still kind of want to go through with hoping that I get the series done before the end of the month. Anyway, I've been talking long enough. I apologize. Let's get into it. It looks busier than before, with plenty of people walking down the street. Hurry up, slowpokes, or we'll leave you behind. Coming. The three of us walk over to Sayori and Natsuki. So, what were you guys talking about? Oh, we were talking about the different types of food at the mall. Really? What restaurants are in the mall? Oh, a lot of different places. There's pizza, burgers, sushi, even tacos. I raised both eyebrows in surprise. Okay, now that's odd. Tacos? Weird. They're really good. Why would that be weird? Uh, I mean, what, just like Japanese culture, like not enjoy tacos? I don't understand. Also, some of the noises that are happening in this game, unless I'm just imagining them, sound like they're like happening in my house. So that's a little, that's tripping me out a little bit. <laughs> they're really good. Sayori so starts drooling again. Uh, we'll go there sometime, but not today. So, what would everyone like? Wow, this is really making me realize how dirty my screen is. I need to clean that. I definitely like a burger. I don't get to go out that much, and I really like fast food. And it won't do much damage to Miji's wallet. I look over at Monica and Yuri. No, Monica, I feel like she'd be okay with most, almost any place with a vegetarian menu. Yuri, though, I'm not so sure about. She might have a more refined palate. I look over at her only to see her looking at her phone. There's a restaurant in the mall called Western Basket that I believe will satisfy all of our needs. Apparently, it opened up a few months ago. Oh, I've heard of that place. We've gotten pamphlets for them. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Well, are we all in agreement then? Western Basket? If they have vegetarian cuisine, I'm okay with that place. As long as we can find a quiet corner, I wouldn't mind eating there. A nice juicy burger, and I'm down. Let's go there. Sounds good to me. As we approach the mall, Monica speaks up. There's a hint of excitement in her voice as we approach, and I can almost see a slight tremble of excitement. God, the, the ambient talking, I don't know if you guys really can hear it, but I it sounds like it's happening right in my room. It's tripping me out. You know, it's been a while since I've been out to a fast food place. I'm excited. The last time I went to one was when I was a child. Jesus. And they're all 18. Holy shit. Really? Why that long? When I moved here, I didn't want to eat out all the time. That's fair enough. But don't you get tired of cooking all the time? I know my mom does, so we go out if she's too tired sometimes. It is tiring sometimes, but incredibly rewarding to be able to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Fair enough. I need to get into cooking. I know that feeling. I haven't been to a bakery or a sweet shop in years since I started baking. Besides, what shop could compare to my awesome cupcakes? I do wish to cook more though. I don't cook much. Nothing fancy anyway. Do you want me to lend you some of my cookbooks? Really? You mean it? Of course. I have most of the memories, recipes memorized by now. What the fuck did I just say? Memories? Ha! 
Of course you would have them memorized. Hey, it's not a bad thing. Saves you time. As we enter the mall, I closely keep an eye on Yuri, but it seems like she's so deep in her conversation with Atsuki she doesn't notice the crowds. She does raise her voice a bit to be heard though. Ah yes, I've made them so much that I remember them by heart now. Oh, by the way, I have a copy of the book for our little experiment back at Meiji's house if you want to start reading early. Oh, thanks. Oh yeah, that's right. Like a few months ago, at, at this point, they mentioned that they're going to read the same book, I think. Oh, thanks. I didn't bring a spare copy of Parfait Girls today, but... No need. I ordered an ebook version of all available volumes last night and have already begun reading it. Wait, there's an ebook version? That's right. Huh, I never knew. I don't have an ebook, so I can't exactly order a copy. Not that I need one, but still. I think he clears her throat. Well, what do you think so far? So far, I've only read the first volume, and while it doesn't seem like something I'd normally read, there's something suspiciously. What? Suspiciously to. Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's gotta be cutesy, isn't it? Innocent! Oh, well, close enough. Yes, something too innocent about the story. Oh my god, it's like DDLC. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, that Natsuki on. That Natsuki on smile. Yep, that smile on Natsuki is pretty damn wide. I should have known you'd pick up on it. Ooh, it is intriguing, I must admit. I want to make sure my mic gets cool. I plan on reading the second volume tonight. Why not read more? Ah, whenever I read a book, I tend to slowly read it in order to take everything in. Take everything in I can. That's fair. With your manga, though, I'm reading more slowly so that I can take in all the scenes. Huh, slowly? I've seen you read. If that's how you define slowly, I wonder how you define fast. You think I read fast? You're the fastest reader I've ever seen. Although, Monica's pretty fast herself. <laughs> am I? Damn right you are. I tried teasing them all again. Perhaps you and Yuri should have a speed reading contest and take a quiz afterwards seeing who retains more. Ha! That would be awesome. You up for it, Yuri? I can tell Monica's playful teasing Yuri now, too. Ah, but reading isn't a contest. Relax, Monica's just teasing you. Although, she is pretty competitive. True, I don't like losing. Eh, uh, I see. Also, I just noticed, is this version so much more, like, HD? Like, dude, like... The characters look so much better. I never noticed that. I might have downloaded a different, like, because, like, I, where I see these mods is the YouTuber Kane Monger. And he started uploading Doki Doki World Dream version 1.4, which I could not get a hold of. I couldn't find a link to it, but pretty much it adds different scenes to add to the story. So I'm probably going to have to look. I'm going to probably be watching his just so I can, you know, see if there's new stuff for the story. There's new backgrounds and new music in it. I don't know if that's the one I downloaded, but... Also, yeah, I also noticed that my merch link still does not work. And the DD and my old DDLC link, the Reddit ones, doesn't work. I'm going to make a notice about that at the beginning of the next video, but god damn it. But... The new DDLC link should work now. I still gotta figure out the thing for the merch. And also I gotta work on the rebrand and all that. Anyway, just then we arrive at the map of at a map of the mall and we all gather around it. Azuki wasn't kidding yesterday when she said this mall was huge. We all look over the map until Sayori points. Here it is. Near the middle of the food court where the old McDonald's used to be. Before they move. Wickdonald's? Are you fucking kidding me? Huh. So it is. Alright then. Let's get going. Oh wow. We not, not, don't have anything to say about that? We head down the halls past the groups of people going about their daily lives. Completely unaware of their own world's nature. Okay. <laughs> get dark really quick. 
It reminds me of one of my favorite movie trilogies from back home. I wonder then, I wonder then if Monica would enjoy it. Soon we arrive. What, what movie trilogy? I'm not sure. When we arrive, I see a sign that asks to wait to be seated. The restaurant itself looks pretty plenty busy, but I do see some empty booths in the back. Just then, a brown hair blur rushes over to us carrying an empty tray. Oh, hello, Koto Noha. How you doing? Long time no see, my friend. Yeah, the characters look so much better in this. Sayo, Sayo, Miji, everyone. We've got to stop meeting like this, haha. <laughs> Wait, I thought she worked at the cafe on Sundays. Is she off already? Yeah, maybe? Huh, same to you. But I'm curious. I thought you worked at the cafe Sayori and I went to on Sunday. What? You work at that place too? <laughs> yeah, I do. Okay, yeah. This is definitely different. What the? I've never seen that sprite before. So yeah, this is definitely updated. This has to be version 1.4. Kotonoha did not look like that. She did not. Don't you get tired? Don't worry about me, Sayo. I'm fine. And I'm already off at work today. I came here to meet... Whoa! Kotonoha? Michi? Oh, wow. Also, sorry for getting sidetracked so much, but... Uh, I mean... Her eye color is different. Yeah, this is definitely different. Also, I, I'm in the World of Dreams Discord, and I remember asking if... Kotonoha... Actually, no, I knew Kotonoha was not original, but I also asked if Kotonoha... I asked if Mori and Kozu were original characters. And apparently, uh, Kozu is actually an original character made by... No, Kozu is not. Ye is the original character that was made specifically for this mod. I know, I now know Mori is, and I know she's in uh, Fruits of the Village Club, which is another mod that I want to do. I know Kozu is in Sanifu. And Kotonoha is in a few other mods. Mari Mori walks over to us, beaming wide. Hey there, Meiji. I see you brought your whole club with you today. Mori, you know the club here too? Yep, I met them here on Friday, actually. Is that so? I did as well. What are you doing here, Mori? I still hate that. Still hate that. Yeah, her eyes are different colors. Hold on, I actually got... I gotta fact check this. Her eyes are 100% different colors. Actually, no. Her eyes might be different. Might be the same color. They look different. Okay, um, that's the last time I'm going to get sidetracked, I promise. <laughs> Me? Oh, I was going to spend some time with Kotonoha after she got off work. Planning some more stuff for your club? Ah, <laughs> no. We're as done with that as can be. Oof. How about you guys? We've got a couple more things to take care of, but other than that, we're done. I was just about to treat the girls here to a celebratory lunch. Oh ho ho! Quite the ladies' man, aren't you, Miji? Okay, wait. Now, now I'm questioning myself. She might have actually looked like that. I swear, her face looks different. At that teasing jab from her, I found my cheeks getting warm a bit. Nasuki snores behind me. Serves you right, you perv. <laughs> Yeah, that's just, that's the thing to say out loud. Trust me, I'm not that good with the ladies. No? Seems like it to me. She points behind me at the others. Bruh! <laughs> oh my god, I've never seen, I've never seen Natsuki like that. That is incredible. I turn to the other girls and notice, to my surprise, they're all somewhat blushing as well. Ha! Told ya. Told me what? You're a harem protagonist, plain and simple. Ugh, seriously? A regular ladies' man. Michi, I swear to god. Ha 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 ha! I sigh in frustration, then turn back to Mori and Kotona. Hey Monica, why don't you two join us? It's my treat, of course. Wait, are you sure about that? It's no trouble at all, I assure you. She turns to an approaching foreign waiter and waves him over. 
To my surprise, her next words are spoken in flawless English with an unmistakable British accent. Oh, okay. Oh, fuck. Okay. <clears throat> Pardon me, sir, but would you please find us a table? Nope. Um, Pardon, pardon me, sir, but would you please find us a table that is a little more private? That's as good as you're gonna get. We will be having the buffet. Ah, sure thing. The waiter leads us to a quiet, circular corner table with a view of, from, of outside. Here you are, please enjoy your meal. The waiter leaves. Asuki then tugs on my sleeve. Hey, are we really going to be eating with the richest girl in the city and her fr friend? I shrug. I've got a sneaking suspicion she would insist quite fervently, feverently. She's as friendly as Sayori, but with the money to spoil her friend's rot. Come on, you two. Sit, sit, sit. She looks so different. It's going to bug me forever now. Don't be shy. Katanaha's smile is infectious, and even Natsuki smiles at her gratefully. Well, if you're insisting... Nasuki takes a seat next to Yuri. Sayori is sitting near the window looking at the street below in awe. Next to her, Mori sits as well, also looking out the window with an amused expression. Monica is still standing, waiting for Katanaha to sit, which she does. The only spot remaining after that is the one on the very edge next to Monica. I sit next to her and I notice that she suddenly moves her left leg so that it brushes my right. It's gonna bother me now. The characters look so much like they look so much more HD. Although the jeans look a little bit wonky, <laughs> yeah, I will say. <laughs> Do you even know the meaning of the word subtle? Monica chuckles. I'm about as subtle as you, cutie. Ta! <laughs> My face feels warm for what must be the hundredth time this week. Whether whatever subtly ship there was has sailed. More like a dinghy. <laughs> I love Monica. You know, this restaurant has everything. Even a salad bar for you, Monica. Wait, there is? And how did you know it was a vegetarian? Oh ho ho. It was something I heard mentioned earlier this year by Suzuki Sensei. Aha, I see. Wait. If there's a salad bar, does that mean there's a buffet? Yes, there is. Screw a burger. A buffet is just what this girl needs. Fair enough. <laughs> I can just picture. As the Suki rushes off, Yuri, Sayori, and Mori follow. Um, Katanaha, are you really sure about this? About what? Treating us to a meal. Oh, -ho, of course I am. I mean, I have the money for it. And I can use it to make my friends happy. And if I can use it to make her friends happy, that makes me happy. The way she says that immediately reminds me of Sayori. And I exchange a slightly worried look with Monica. Oh. Ooh. I don't think Katana has to press. If you say so. Ladies, why don't you all get your food? I'll hold down the fort. Are you sure? Absolutely. Although I'm now hyper aware of everything. Her hand is fucking massive. Absolutely. Then thank you, Miji. The girls all head off, leaving me alone with my thoughts and with Miji. I think I can see why these two are friends. Me too. They're both friendly, giving, and almost always happy. Although, I don't know if Sayori would actually slap someone in anger like that. Oh, that was fucking sick. You'd be surprised. Ah, uh, yeah, I, I can picture Sayori doing that. Oh? <laughs> Remind me to tell you about the incident in middle school where Sayori chased away some bullies. Now that does sound interesting. Wait, now that does interesting. <laughs> I'd love to hear that. I'll tell you later. Just then, the girls who had left began trickling back. Yori comes back first. To my surprise, her plate doesn't have much on it. She's carrying a tray with a small bowl of white rice, a bowl of soup, and a plate with what I assume is some kind of chicken on it. What you got there? Smells delicious. Mary sets the tray down and sits at her place. A bowl of rice, autumn squash, soup, and a sago chicken with bacon cream sauce. Bacon cream sauce? 
My mouth begins to water immediately. Okay, that sounds delicious. Sayuri comes back next and takes her place next near the window. I can almost hear Miji chuckling when he sees her plate. Still trying to get back in, back to get you. Oh my God! Still trying to get used to reading again. Sayuri's plate is full of food, ranging from macaroni and cheese to pizza slices, small cakes, gluten shit, glute, gelatin, gelatin snack, and even soft serve chocolate ice cream. That's so many different sides of the food group. Like, well, actually, no. Most of it's dairy, I guess. I don't know. I grin at her. Damn, Sayori. Do you think you have enough? <laughs> Masuki comes back with similar stuff on her plate, although with a lack of desserts. She's packed her plate with chicken tenders, fries, and even to my surprise, a large, thick cheeseburger. I was literally about to say that. A burger at a buffet? Can you believe this place serves whole burgers in the freaking buffet? Burgers? Not even in America do they do that. That's surprising. Sorry, Americans. I just expect that. But don't worry, we don't we, we have poos in at all of our buffets. 100 percent Ha! Just one more thing we Japanese do better. Ugh, give me a break. Am I like Sayori to her? She's gotten into the habit of teasing me a lot more lately. Mori comes back next. She has a bit less than Sayori and Natsuki, but still more than Yuri. On her plate, she has some fettuccine alfredo, garlic bread, a small bowl of pudding, and a slice of what looks like meatloaf. Damn, that looks good too. What doesn't this place have? Entertainment. <laughs> You're right. Where's the dinner show? I want to be laughing. Mori laughs, and the other girls join in. Kota Noha comes back, comes back just then as well. Her plate as benefit, benefiting, benefiting, benefiting. As benefiting, that benefiting, is that benefiting? Yeah, it could be benefiting. Yeah, There's, I've never seen benefiting. That just, I'm just ah, fuck, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with that saying benefiting. That's not benefiting. I don't know my foods very well. Oh wait, I didn't finish reading. Her social status has by far the fanciest dishes. I don't know my I don't know my foods very well, but I think I see a filet mignon on her plate. I also see crab legs, and to my surprise, a corn dog with a side ketchup. What the fuck? What's that doing there? How'd that get there? Tilting my head, I look at the corn dog. One of those things doesn't belong. I was about to say, why, why the corn dog? Ah, it's something I've never had before, so I was curious to try it. Her face is different. That's not her face. That wasn't her face. That's so different. I need to confirm this. I I can't confirm it. I think her mouth is smaller. This is gonna bother me till the day I die. Maybe I'll notice if we came on those videos. Uh, I'll have to watch those. Fair enough. Lastly, Malika shows up. It isn't surprising that her plate has a salad on it, but it still seems strange to me to see her with some sort of pasta dish with shrimp in it. I know the game version of Monica says she was vegetarian, but Pescatarian? Why didn't the game version say that? That's a good question, actually. I wonder. What is that pasta, di pasta dish there? Oh, shrimp scampi with linguine. Oh, getting a little Italian on me, aren't you? You... <laughs> Fuck's sake. You are gonna make... Wait, what? You are gonna make your mama a cry. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> I certainly hope so. That's not the reaction. I excuse myself and head to the buffet. Monica's last in line. Monica's last line doesn't catch. Holy fuck. Monica's last line does catch me a bit off guard. Does she really hate her parents that much? Oh. Oh. That didn't. Oh. That did not click with me. 
Oh. Okay. Now I'm starting to wonder what kind of damage her upbringing has done to her physique. Ryan? You okay? Huh? Uh, I don't know. You heard of him on like a set. Yeah, seems a bit harsh, right? I don't know, man. Think about it. What kind of parents kick their teenage daughter out just because she started her own small club? I guess. I'm no psychiatrist or anything, but that girl has been through more in the past week than anyone should ever have to go through in a lifetime. Ever. And no, I'm not saying what we're going through is better, but I can at least say you have parents who love and support you. <laughs> I lucked out there. No kidding. Hey, why are you getting that? Huh? I am in the process of picking up a small chicken leg that's been deep fried and battered. What's wrong with this? Ugh, I hate those. Wait, for real? How come? It's the tastiest kind of chicken around. Nuh uh. No way, man. I almost make a snappy reply, but pause. The memory. The memory of the way I snapped with Ye returns and I start to put it back. However, now driven by curiosity, I put a very small piece of fried chicken on my plate. What? Why? Remember the first day I got here and we got coffee? Yeah? Well, I personally don't like coffee, but your taste buds made it taste amazing. So I'm curious to try something you hate, but I love. That's fair. Hmm. Okay, fine. I guess. Great! Now let's fill this plate with what you like. Awesome! As expected of a normal teenage boy, his tastes are somewhat similar to my own. I grab a cheeseburger, a slice of, melt of meat lover pizza, and some fries as a side. For a drink, I fill a glass with some melon soda and then head back to the table. As I return, I take another look at the table. To my surprise, I notice that Monica, Sayori, Yuri, and Asuki all have melon sodas next to their plates. I take a seat next to Monica again. After saying the traditional Japanese blessing before meals, we all begin eating. When I take a taste of the small piece of chicken, I feel Meiji's body have some kind of reaction to it. It feels almost as if he's gagging due to the texture or something. I swallow it quickly and wash it down with the soda before anyone else notices. Told ya! Yeah, I know. I just wanted to try. Are you alright? Oh yeah, just something went down the wrong way is all. Oh, I hate it when that happens. It's such a pain. Agreed. After that, the table falls into silence for a bit as the girls and I enjoy the meal. After a while, Kotonaha dabs at her mouth, mouth in the most British way I've ever seen. I'm just picturing it. So, I know this might be odd for me to ask, but do any of you here speak English? I speak a small amount, actually. Not much to hold the conversation with, though. I do plan on picking it back up, though. Here, she gives me a sideways glance. Oh, yeah. Oh, any particular reason? Uh, mostly for travel. I want to visit a couple of English-speaking countries in my lifetime. And I don't want to rely on translation apps. Uh, those don't really work as well as one might think. Okay, her face is the same, I think. You should visit England sometime if you are able. <laughs> yeah, England, I guess that's a nice place. I spent almost every summer vacation there. Is that where you picked up your British accent? Oh, you could tell what kind of accent. You could tell what kind of accent I have? Well, I've heard those accents a few times before on TV. Oh, I see. Interesting. But how'd you get so good, Coco? I have a private. English tutor, I see regular, regular, I vote regularly. Thank you. She comes by at least once a week to see me. That's cool. Maybe I can find a tutor too. They're not that hard to find, I'm sure. Lots of them are online. Just a quick, quick away. Um. Okay, Monica. Okay. Yeah. I know, but I was thinking someone more local. <sighs> Koto, uh, man. Oh, would you like me to introduce you to my tutor? 
<laughs> Thanks for the offer, but I'll be fine. The offer's always there, and I'd even be willing to pay for the lessons. How fucking rich is this girl? Monica, Sayori, and I exchange a brief look. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. My pleasure. What's up, Ryan? It's just, the more I get to know this Koto no ha girl, the more I'm worried about her. Maybe it's just me, but... Oh, that's right. Oh, I, yeah, that didn't even cross my mind. Maybe it's just me, but she seems to be trying to buy our friendship. This is probably going to be the worst time I've ever left off an episode on, but I'm going to leave this episode here. I'm gonna but anyway, that'll do it. But yeah, that'll do it for this episode of Doki Doki World of Dreams Act 1. What has happened this episode? Um, I got sidetracked a lot. I apologize. Um, we went to the mall and we've just been having dinner. That's really it. But this episode has actually been really interesting. I'm interested and like we've been learning more about Kota Naha. Really just more about Kota Naha and like the buying of friendship thing. I didn't really think about that. But yeah, that'll do it for this video. Feel free to let me know what you guys thought about it down in the comments below. Feel free to leave a like. Feel free to subscribe. Feel free to do whatever. Feel free to check out my merch. Trust me, I'm going to try my best to get a link that actually fucking works. Uh, but if you still want to check out my merch, uh, it sh there should be a link in my about tab. That one should work. Should work. I hope you all have a great day. Hope you all have a great night, great afternoon, great evening, whatever time it is for you. The link to this mod, as always, is down in the description below, as well as my Doki Doki World of Dreams Act 1 playlist, so you can go back and check out the other videos you might have missed. And hopefully, we'll have Act 2 very soon. I love you all. Thank you all so much for the recent love and support. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace!